Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions in the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, here is a question I have received based on the lateral joint. Because in most of the videos, I have used the lateral joint to replicate the rows. So the question is basically, how can we replicate the rows without using lateral joint? So probably the reason for this question might be because this lateral join was introduced from Oracle 12 version only. So if at all you want to implement a similar functionality in previous versions of Oracle, then how can we implement? That is what we are going to see in this video. So I'm going to take you through two examples. In fact, the logic behind both these examples are exactly the same, the row replication. So in the first example, we are going to replicate the row based on the second column. So we have like two columns. The first column is having some character and the second column is a number. So we are going to replicate each row based on the number. For example, A we are going to replicate once, B we are going to replicate two times, the row that contains C we are going to replicate three times. So in the second example also the same replication logic but we are going to replicate based on the number of comma. For example, in this case, if there is one comma, we are going to replicate that row into two time and then we are going to extract the character based on the position. For example, in the first row, we are going to extract A. In the second row, we are going to extract B. Similarly, X, Y, Z, there are like two comma. So we are going to replicate two plus one. So basically, we are going to replicate three rows. And in the first row, we are going to extract X. Second row, we are going to extract Y. And in the third row, we are going to extract z. Sorry, this is not y, this should be z. Okay, so now let us see how can we implement this. Since I have already explained how the lateral join work, I would suggest you to watch this video to get a basic information about what is a lateral join because we are going to implement the same functionality without using lateral join. So let us start with the example. So first I will show you how to implement with lateral join. Then we will implement the same thing in version 11 because in version 11, we will not be able to implement or use the lateral keyword. Let us start. I'm creating table T and I'm populating this table with three record A, B, C. So let me show you the version where I'm trying this. So first I'm executing or trying this in version 12 database so that we can use the lateral join. First, let me show you how to implement this functionality using lateral join. Then I will show you how to implement the same functionality in version 11 uh, database without using lateral join. So let us start from table T. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the lateral keyword, lateral select level from dual connect by level less than or equal to the second column that is C2. So now if you see, this would replicate the row because the lateral join makes the query very simple. And I have already explained how this lateral join work. I would suggest you to watch that video. Now let us see how to implement the same functionality in version 11. So I'm now connecting to a version 11 of database. Since I've already created a table, let me just drop it. Now I'm creating the table T and I'm populating three records into this table. So let me show you the version. So now you can see I've connected to 11G database. So now I'm trying to execute the same query what we executed in version 12. So now you will get an error because this lateral keyword is not supported before version 12 of the database. Now let's see how can we implement the same functionality here. So I'm saying select star from T. So let me take the same query from here. And let me put here. First let me write the query, then I will show you how this query will get executed. Multi set. I'm going to use the cast. So basically I'm just converting the relational data into a collection type. Sys dot number list. Then I'm going to use the table function to convert the relational or collection data into a relational result set. Comma is missing here. Yeah. So now if you see, we achieved the same functionality without using the lateral keyword that too we have executed in the version 11 database. Now let me show you how the query will get executed. 
So this implementation is basically based on lateral join and it will work from Oracle 12 onwards. However, this will not work in the previous versions of the database. So here is the query that will work in the previous versions of database as well. So the key learning here is that, see the logic of implementation is exactly the same, same inner query we are using here. And both these queries will work exactly like how the correlated subquery used to work. And in fact, the second query also will work very similar to the later join only. But the key learning here is that the cast multiset. So the cast multiset will basically help us to convert the relational data into a collection type of data and then the table function keyword. So this table function keyword will help us to convert the collection data into a relational result set data so that it will act like a table. So you can join with any other table as if it is like a normal table. So this is the implementation to implement the functionality of lateral keyword with our lateral functionality without using the lateral keyword. So now let us see the second example. So in fact, this example is very similar to the previous example. The only additional functionality implemented here is the extraction based on the comma. So now let us see how to implement this functionality. Okay, first I'm creating the table and I'm just populating the comma separated records into this table and I'm just querying from the table. So let me show you the version. First I'm trying in the version 12. So I already written the query here. You can see the query using the lateral join. It is exactly similar to the previous query only. So the only additional difference is instead of the previous column C2, now I'm uh, replicating based on the number of comma plus one. And also in the outer query, I'm using the regular expression substring basically to extract the character based on the comma position. So that is the only additional functionality. Apart from that, the core logic of replication is still the same. We are using the lateral join. Okay, now let us see how this query will work or how to replicate the same thing in version 11G. So since I've already written the query, so let me just show you the same thing. I'm creating the table. I'm populating the same records. Let me query from the table. Let me show you the version of the DB now. So now you can see, now I have connected to the version 11G database. So now let me execute the query which contains the lateral keyword, whatever you have just now seen. So this query will not work. As I told, the lateral keyword will not work in the previous versions. Now here is the uh, implementation using our uh, cast multiset and table function. Okay, now let me just execute and show you the query. So now you can see we replicated the strings based on the number of comma plus one. And from each position, we are extracting the character based on the comma position. For that, additionally, we are using the regular expression substring. Let me show you the query. So this is our actual query implementation based on the lateral. The same functionality we implemented using the cast multiset and table function. In fact, this query I have already explained in this video how the replications will work. So basically in this video, you can see how to convert a, a row of data into a comma separated data and vice versa. In fact, in this video, how you actually use the lateral join only. But if you want to implement this similar functionality in the previous versions of Oracle, then we need to use the uh, cast multiset and table function. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you're not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel. Thank you.